Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and I don't exactly know what. This is a PDF, and then this is a real file. And if you're going to cut this out, this isn't a bad idea because the, the J would stay, but your center of your O is going to fall out. So that would work. I just, I've never seen something like this before. And so he kind of sent me an example. And to reduplicate that, take this text. I'm going to left click, right click. If you're going to cut it out, it needs to be a hairline. This also needs to be a hairline. But it's hard to text a path on this shape. So what I would do would make a, well, let's back up here. Uh, this thing is like almost two and a half inches. So let's make our nudge factor four and let's duplicate this guy Hit the plus key on the keyboard. But to text a path, something like this, it doesn't always work. And you can see you could flip it and stuff, but it's a lot easier to take this shape. And if you look, you could you could take these nodes, break these nodes apart and just get that section. But I feel it would be easier just to take a two-point line and cut this, and then take your virtual segment delete key and cut that, and then take this line away, hit delete, take this line away, and now you could text a path on this path. So we're going to go to text, text a path, put it on the path. But now what you need to do is go to object, break text apart, nudge the text over, and back minus front. But you lose the J when you do that. So let's try welding it. And that's not going to work. So my suggestion here would be to take and break the, the word Jamie apart, convert it to a curve, make a duplicate and move that over. Let's just delete that line. Then you could take all this and back minus front. And we need to figure out how we can get just part of that J. So let's make the that J black. It's still a hairline. Nudge it over. And take the virtual segment delete key and see we can't delete. But it deletes both of them. So let's try this. Let's back up to where we have that J like that. And I'll tell you what, let's back up till we have that. There we go. Let's back up till we have this. And let's delete this. Now take this and break it apart. Well, it's probably already broken apart. Let's just take that. Yeah, that'll work. Then take this and go Mac minus front. And you're losing that part of the J. And then just nudge this over. And we need to delete part of that. So if, if you'll just take that node and hit delete. I think this is going to work. I've never seen uh, cutting off the text to um, keep the, you know, keep the shape. Because the laser is going to go and cut all this out and then stop. So that letter is going to stay there. It's just going to, it's, it's a weird situation. But then you would just put it in this spot. I really think it would be better. I mean, the PAM worked because you don't have a lower section of the name. I almost think it'd be better just to engrave it here and here and not, and still use text of path. So let's back up here quite a bit. Let's go back to the, 
original file, I personally would do this. Let's uh, set our nudge factor back on four. Whenever you back up, you you actually uh, change everything. Hit the plus key and do that. And you actually need this shape. So let's so let's do this. Let's bring this into here and nudge it over four inches. Still do the same thing with the exception now we can probably do text the path to this path. Text the path and put it here, it'll be upside down. But then we can mirror it both ways. And then we could physically move it. to about right there, and then go up to object. See, when we do that, we're getting both of them. Let's hit delete. Yeah, we get both of them. So we need to select it all, go up to object, and break the text apart. And now let's nudge that Jamie over there. And then you've got the shape. You could use, set your nudge factor on point zero zero one and try to grab just the text and just nudge it ever so slightly, you'd have the path, you'd have the curvature. That's what I would do and then put the Pam in here. Pam, the female ring is smaller. I've never seen anything like this, uh, but that would be my suggestion. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.